Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, you can see, see, see who we're going to be talking about tonight. Okay? One Hour Stories is still about Kim Kardashian and her loving the the dick pretty much okay she done went through all these men okay it started with ray j ray j, ray j gave her the jump off okay yes he put her on the map with that sex tape and she ended up marrying kanye and had four children beautiful children with him but it's like <laughs> she couldn't keep pete hey she couldn't keep well she was dating him at one time and you see we don't need to talk about him because he ain't nothing but a baby make, making factory. All right. And I hope he leaves a lot of money for them kids. If he, you know, get off this plane of earth or this existence that we have. And we have Reggie Bush. But this young man right here, his name is Damon, Damon Thomas. She was married to him. That was her first husband. And as you can say, she is down for the swirl. And she dated Reggie Bush, you know, the football player. I don't really know what happened with that ordeal. But Kim knows she like herself some black men. But yet, why are you messing with Pete? Pete looks like a vampire for one. Like he never gets any type of sleep. But hey, we know you like the melanin type man. So I don't understand why you even hooked up. But you said you were wanting the D-I-C-K. Yep, you were a jump off. And you didn't mind being a jump off. You just needed to be pleased in that way. From what I'm understanding. Okay. But we get into people.com. And they write up an article. Regarding this situation. Because uh, Roger Bush. No he used the hell out of you. Oh yes he did. Yes he did. But he didn't have any babies with him. Maybe because he didn't last long enough. In your graces. To get pregnant. Okay. And Damien, you didn't have no children by him. Chris, you didn't have no children by him, even though you pretty much put out there that he was a little fruity. Okay? A little fruity, but tootie. Uh, <clears throat> but yet, you settled down with Kanye, had children, and then you just wanted to get rid of them. Now you want to swing back like you're in your 20s? No, 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 Kim. We're getting older, baby. We're not getting younger. Okay? You might have that youthful spirit. Still in you. And that's fine. That's okay. Get it. Got it good. However, you're getting old, baby. You're getting old. But let's go on into this article that Kelly Wayne uh, Ali Nahas and Melanie Chu brought out to us. Okay. They titled it Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson Reunion. Not in the cards. After relationship ran its course. Sources say. <laughs> Honey, even a blind man could see that. Because I really think she just dated uh, Pete just for the notoriety to stay out there. Knowing she got a man. Because she don't never like to be seen without a man on her arm. Okay. But I think he was just a smoke screen. You know. She probably just wanted to do a jump off for him. And then she thought she was going to, I don't know, have a real fledged, full fledged relationship. But, hey, Pete just saw it as a jump off. It just is what it is. Okay? It just is what it is. He didn't want you, Cam. Girl, he didn't want you. But I guess you wanted to pull the plug on the relationship or fake relationship before he did. But he beat you to the point. He beat you to the point, girl. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson's relationship didn't implode. It simply reached its natural conclusion, sources tell people. Mm-hmm. Who are uh, Kim? Did you get people out there to talk about you and your relationship with um uh Pete Davidson girl? 
or you just having people go call magazines and give a story that they know exactly what happened with you and Pete's relationship. It just fills it out. I mean, was the sex not good? Was the sex not good? Or was the sex not good for Pete? Were you just sit, sitting there doing boring uh, positions with him and he wants you to be a little more outgoing, a little bit more wild and frisky? Cam, are you just laying up in that bed uh, missionary style and you ain't doing that girl? You ain't doing the 69. You ain't doing, you know, the okie doke that'll make them flow. Girl, you ain't doing none of that. Oh, well, he probably thought you were born in bed, honey. Like Portia Williams. Dennis said, said that Portia just don't do nothing. She lays in the bed. Okay. And I thought, you know, how Portia like to move around, shake her booty, shake her ass. You think she would know how to rock and roll that behind on that surfboard. Okay, but that's just me. That's I was talking about the side of my neck. I do that from time to time. Okay, I voice my opinions. And sometimes they're crazy as hell, but hey, it just is what it is, right? But going back to the article, it said, they've definitely been slowing down. One insider says, things heated up quickly in the beginning, but he could travel back and forth to see Kim and spend time with her. But his schedule has gotten so packed. And Kim's schedule is damn well packed with them four-ass kids, okay? So she can't just hop on a plane or hop on the train and go see her man no but see y'all knew that before y'all got this fictitious relationship started i don't know if um pete needed to jump off with his career and he needed to be totally being talked about in the news media or the social media uh streaming that we do or was it just uh she just went good and bad what was it, Pete? What what, is, what was it? Tell us, honey. We know this here. We want to know, honey. We want to know. But anyway, we're going back to the article. It says, Pete is still super bummed, though, about the breakup, continues the insider. They really hit it off and had a ton of fun together, but it feels like it ran its course. Well, I know one thing. When you're in a relationship and you want the relationship to work, you would climb any mountain. You would stroll through any sea. And you would walk on hot coals to get with that person and be with that person. That's just it. That's it. That's period. And that's point blank. All right. So we can just cut this mess they're talking about that they gave the story to people and saying that he just bombed. If he would bomb. We would see it on his face. But lately we've been seeing him smile. They ain't never smiles. Okay. Showing all 32 teeth. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says a second source tells people that a reconciliation is unlikely to be on the horizon. It was an amicable split. They had discussed ending their relationship for a bit. It wasn't sudden, explains the source, and it was a mutual decision. Getting back together is not in the cards right now. Well, like I said, unless uh, Pete wanted to be a stepdad to your kid's child. And he wasn't doing so good when <coughs> he was calling himself being at the Cheesecake Factory with them. He was letting them kids run wild, run wild, run wild. So, no, 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 no. We didn't need Pete to be no guardian over them children. Okay? Not Kanye West children anyway. But anyway, news that Hollywood favorite couple split came last week after Davidson has been on location in Australia for work. Kardashian 41. And Davidson, 28, apparently attempted long distance for a few weeks before deciding to end the relationship. Well, my whole thing, why did you even start one with him? You know he was about that life. You know he was totally into acting. And acting would take him here and there and there and here. You knew this, Kim. But you still said, oh, I want to get to know him. Where's your horny, Kim? Where's your horny? That's all we want to know, girl. Because you should you should have called Candy Burris up. She got that bedroom line candy. And you could have pleased yourself. Oh, yes, you could have pleased yourself. Until you figured out where you're going to go back to Kanye. Because this mess still going on with y'all divorce. Hell, it should already have been resolved by now. But that's y'all style tactics. Because we may see y'all get back together. Okay? Because y'all two peas in a pod and two nuts. Okay? And don't nobody else want y'all. Don't nobody else want y'all. Pete didn't want you. And I guess the people that Kanye was just going through, he didn't want them or they didn't want him either. Okay? So it, it might just be in the cause for you and Kanye to get back together. Even though that would be the stupidest thing he would do, could do. But you know him. He probably would go back. 
But going back to the article, it said, um, a source first confirmed the breakup to people on Friday. Similarly, similarly women. Similar, uh, citing both Kardashian and Davidson's busy schedule. Well, hey, you, you find time to put your love in. You find time to put your love in and be with that special person, okay? That's bullshit what they're talking about in this article. That's straight bullshit. And I know Kim was behind this stuff. She just wanted to keep her name out there. And she don't hire somebody, allegedly, to go out there and talk like they knew um, Pete and her religiously. You know what I'm saying? They knew everything about their relationship to the T. Like, really, Kim? Really? Okay. Going back to the article, it says the pair were together for nine months after they met around the same, after they met around the time Kardashian hosted Saturday Night Live on the Kardashians. The Skims founder was honest about how she connected with Davidson by texting first. Uh-huh. With NSF women. NSFW intentions. What does NSFW mean, y'all? I'll get down in the comments. Tell me what that is. That's some acronyms I, I'm not familiar with. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it said, so this is how it went down with Pete. He, when she was told cameras, I did SNL, and then when we kissed and seen, it was just a, it was just a vibe. And I was like, oh, shit, maybe I just need to try something different. Okay, you mean different from dating black men, from having babies with black men? That's what you're talking about, trying something different. Well, as we can see, you don't had your time with the black folks, and now you don't had your time with the white folks, and you thought Pete was going to be the one. Really, Cam? Really? Okay, you didn't make it with Chris, but you you know, like I said, you alluded to allegedly that he was gay, honey. But it is what it is. Everybody seems to be saying they gay these days. All right. But going back to the article, it said, uh, but Pete does not come to my after party. Everyone was at my after party. He does not give me the time of day. And that's when you should have realized he didn't want to count. You were a jump off. He just wanted to get in your pants, do what he had to do, do the little dance, and now he's gone. Okay, he was that wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of scenario, situation you were in with Pete Davidson. Because they ain't had nothing to do about no little. Y'all were just bumping booties. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, um... He doesn't give her the time of day. He doesn't show up to her after party for SNL. Uh, so she gave him a... F she gave... Wait okay. So a few days later, I called the producer at SNL Saturday Night Live and was like, Hey, do you have Pete's number? And I'm like, do your job supposed to be giving out Pete, uh, Pete's number? Does his job from Saturday Night Live... I'm like, that's how we do. That's how, so if an ordinary person wanted to get somebody's uh, telephone number, they're going to give it out to them like that. Because I'm like, if Pete didn't give her his number, hell, he didn't want her to know his number. Hell, he didn't show up for the after party. So that was wrong with that person that slid uh, Kim his number. All right. Unbeknownst to him. But moving on, moving on. It said, um, and they were like, yeah, I have his number. She continued. I then started to text him. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking, heard about this BDE, Big Dick Energy. Okay, need to get out there. I need to jumpstart my coochie. Okay, that's what you're saying, girl. Kim clarified to cameras, I was just basically DTF down to Fuck. Okay, that's what you're saying, Kim, girl. That's what you're saying. During the course of the relationship, Davidson got a series of tattoos, seemingly for Kardashian, including one that says, my girl is a lawyer, as well as the initials of K Dashian, or Kardashian and her four children with X, Kanye West, North, St. Chicago, and some. Okay? So, I'm like, Kim, I don't know. This man must have turned you out because it's still like you want him. You want him, Kim? But back up, back off that train, okay? He don't want you. Go back to the man that wants you. I mean, I'm, you you could only control Kanye, okay? You can't control these other men. You couldn't control Nick Cannon. You couldn't control Reggie Bush. You couldn't control Damon Thomas. You couldn't control, uh, what's that Nick Cannon I saw you with, girl? And you damn sure couldn't uh, control uh, Ray J. Mm-hmm. Ray J. You remember him, right? 
uh, are you sure you remember him? Because he's the one that got your career on Jumpstart, okay? Because it was flatlining. And then that little scene or video taping and putting you all out there. Yes, you turn something into a gold mine. But you had to have that jump start with that black man. Okay, taping y'all uh, little bedroom scenes, okay? But girl, I hear you, I hear you, but nah, don't sit up there and chase no man, okay? Don't sit and chase Pete. If Pete wants you, you know, you got the good looks, you got the body. But then again, if you were bored as hell in bed, I don't know, he might not want you, girl. <laughs> he might get you to come with him to an event here and there. But he, he probably didn't like your ooh. See, he didn't like it, girl. And he don't want you. So stop barking up that tree. We don't want to hear anything else about y'all reconciling, okay? Because it's getting to be redundant over here at the house. I can't keep bringing the family same scenario subject going on. Part one, part two, part three. Season one, season two, season three. Ah, we can't go through that, okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like and love God him more. Just subscribe to the channel like share and comment that's all you have to do and all of it's free okay bye bye